and you need to rebuke in the name of Jesus. Ask the pastor. It's actually anonymous, but they want to know this. It says, what should I do? And pastors, you want to hear this one. It says, what should I do when someone runs up on me in public and does witchcraft on me? I'm not sure how they'll know what happened, but Pastor Nancy. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll start praying in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there's witchcraft all over right now. We are living in the end days. And uh, 1 Timothy 4, 1 says, Now the Spirit expressively says that in latter times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. So I would say, you know, you don't want to cause a scene or anything, but you need to get away from that person. You need to rebuke in the name of Jesus, whatever they're speaking um, over you, and you need to cut those curses off. That's really important that in the name and the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that you cut off any curses that are spoken to you and that you move away from uh, any witchcraft that comes your way. Okay. How about that, Pastor? Saying somebody ran up on him in public and with some kind of witchcraft on them? Well, th this is uh, the kind of stuff that we're starting to see more and more, even in the church. Uh, uh, more of our uh, people are open to Satanism and witchcraft and, and stuff like that. Uh, the area that I live in, uh, there are a lot of uh, Reikis and witches and warlocks. There's a lot of this stuff going on in our community. Uh, so uh, a couple things you have to understand. First of all, um, that if you have the blood of Christ protecting you, uh, it's a shield around you. It, it, it protects you. Uh, Isaiah chapter 54, um, uh, if I can find that here, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that accuses you in judgment, you will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. So that's the Lord uh, telling you that he will watch over his people. Uh, the book of first John uh, chapter one, verse seven, uh, if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship one, with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son cleanses us from all sin. So um, uh, just one, one more thing I, I want to share. Uh, I was at a, a men's breakfast uh, a year or two ago and um, very disappointed in the speaker. But there was a guy that stood up and he uh, he said, I just want to tell you guys something. I had this weird dream. I've been uh, hesitant to step up into leadership. Uh, because I'm afraid to step up and, and uh, I won't be the man to do it. And he said, I, I had a dream. And in that dream, I was chest bumping Satan, you know, and, and he's a, this is a short man. I, I'm not very tall and he was shorter than me. And he goes, look at me. He goes, I'm not a very tall man, but he was smaller than me. And he said, I think God was telling me that why do you make Satan out to be more than he is? He's not. Christ has, he's already defeated. He's given him a little bit of power, a little bit of reign. You can't let that get to you. You've got the blood of Christ. You possess the gospel. That's the very power of God in your life. Let the gospel do its thing. Let the lion out of its cage, as Spurgeon will say, and, uh, and let that word go to work. Just preach the word to, to those people and the word will overcome all of that. Yeah, good word, Pastor Hall. Good example as well. How about that, Pastor Colini? Someone gonna, runs up on you. I'm just yes. going to do a victory lab real quick. <laughs> I can and then, uh, yeah. So uh, Philippians 2.10, it says that at the name of Jesus, yeah. every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under earth. Luke 10.20, notwithstanding in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. This is going with the flow of what the other pastors just said. We have all power and authority over the enemy. Now, this person who is using the witchcraft is not the enemy. They may be used by the enemy, but they are a soul that we can minister to and we could take authority over in the name of Jesus. There was a story, a uh, situation. I was at Walgreens and there was a very, very large man who was using the F word uh, screaming at his girlfriend and his wife and just yelling publicly in the middle of uh, Walgreens. And I didn't know him. I didn't know her. 
and he was just screaming at the top of his lung, you know, using cuss words towards her. And I just said real loud, equally as loud, I said, in the name of Jesus. And I kept saying, in the name of Jesus, the guy stopped yelling at her, stopped swearing. He looked at me in fear and in confusion, confusion. And the lady walked away. He walked away. And I just felt this peace of God come upon me. So as Christians, we need to have the boldness of uh, that God has called us and equipped us to use the name of Jesus. Not, it's great to use it in church. It's great to use it when you're alone. But when you're in public, God gave us that name to use it against the enemy. Amen, Pastor. Praise God. How about that, Pastor Medley? He wants to know if anybody, someone runs up on you and tries to put witchcraft on you, how to handle that? First of all, I would rebuke him in the name of Jesus, and I would look him directly in the eyes and tell him that you and the devil both is a lie. Mm -hmm. Because if, if, if God determines to bless me, nobody can stop it. And so um, uh, the Bible goes on to say that you cannot curse what God has blessed. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you don't even worry about that kind of thing. You just plead the blood of Jesus. When I first got saved and I would hear about the devil and things of this nature, uh, it would scare me. And then it, then it dawned on me one day. The Lord let me know, you reverence uh, the devil more than you reverence me. I mean, you're more, you're more afraid of him than, it, than you are of me. So I just had to uh, go to the Lord and ask him to forgive me. And, uh, and I just went on from there. Praise God. That's good. All these are good examples. How about that, Pastor Turner? Um, I think that this is a very good question. Um, it said someone walks up on you and tries to put a... Public. Well, in church, um, witchcraft works all the time. And there's a couple ways that it can work. The first way, the way, the way that you defeat, everybody said this. They didn't say the word. But the first thing that you want to do to give you instruction is pray. First Thessalonians 5 and 18 says that men ought to always pray and not faint. Then it goes on and tells us to pray in the name of Jesus. What happens if I have a spirit, spirit of witchcraft working in my church? Because there's the devil dispatches angels to people's churches and they are working against the ministry. That's why it's important for you to have a prayer group. Prayer is like a repellent. And people don't believe this, but that's some of the things we deal with. That we would just be quiet and just pray. When Jesus is being tempted by the devil in Matthew 4, he keeps saying, it is written. It is written. Mm -hmm. So the way you defeat the devil is by the word of God, but you got to know it. And then you got to pray. Another thing is, if you don't believe, this is the thing that I say, you got to believe that stuff for it to work. If you don't believe, it's not going to work. Same thing within Christianity. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the, for without faith, it's impossible. So if you don't believe in whatever the person tried to do to you, it can't work. And I want, I want to, because we're, we're covered by the blood. Everybody talked about that. Yea, though I walk through this valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. And there's another scripture that says that Satan can't even come near you. So we are covered by the blood. Amen. Good. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.